Yo, what is up, Pats Nation? How's everybody day going? Today we're going to talk about Gronk's departure with New England and why I believe the Patriots will be perfectly fine without him. As much as I love Gronk, arguably the best tight end to ever do it, amazing guy, uh, perfect fit for the Patriots, has that Patriot personality, uh, he's a pure tight end who could block extremely well. Uh, and was just as good at receiving as he ju as he was blocking. Besides this last year, although he still was very productive, he just isn't the same receiver anymore. There's been rumors that he may come back midseason, and don't get me wrong, I would absolutely love for Gronk to come back and play for us once again and to fulfill his little joke to Tom Brady saying that he can't let Tom Brady outlast him in the NFL. The Patriots have addressed his departure with signings such as former Patriot Benjamin Watson, Austin Safarian Jenkins, who I believe will be very good in this offense as long as he stays healthy, uh, Matt Lacoste, and undrafted free agent Andrew Beck. Not to mention he is the highest paid undrafted free agent the Patriots signed, if that means anything to you. None of these tight ends are Gronk, but these players are so all solid, which means there's a good amount of depth on the, on the team for this position. These tight ends are good blockers, which is basically the purpose of a tight end. Uh, especially with the transition on offense the Patriots are having to a hard-nosed run game. Uh, but are all good pass catchers as well. You know, a tight ends are basically just eligible linemen. Now, none of these tight ends are even close to the receiving threat that Gronk was. Which is why the Patriots picked up big-bodied receivers such as first-round pick Nikhil Harry and Demarius Thomas, who has thrived and Josh McDaniels led offenses. If Josh Gordon gets reinstated and Demarius Thomas's Achilles injury doesn't affect him too much, this will be one of the greatest receiving cores Brady has ever had in my opinion. Josh Gordon, Demarius Thomas, Julian Edelman who also uh, signed his contract extension today for two years, uh, Nikhil Harry, Philip Dorsett, Dontrell Inman who just came in from the Chargers, Maurice Harris, who is a young, talented receiver out of Washington, uh, Jacoby Myers, big-bodied slot receiver, and Braxton Berrios, who's making his debut off of his injury last year. There is so much competition for the receiving core on this team, it's unbelievable. And like I said, this is paired with a solid set of tight ends, in my opinion. Tom Brady generally gets it done without Gronk. As a matter of fact, Tom Brady gets it done with just about anybody. Gronk has missed tons of games, including playoff games, and the Patriots have still been successful. For example, the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history was done with Gronk on the sidelines. With the running game the Pats have developed over the past year paired with these new threats, I believe the Patriots offense will be just as good as ever. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, and if you would, please like and subscribe for more content. This is my first video ever, so please critique, critique me if you will. Not too hard though, so that I get better at providing you guys with content. Anyways guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.